welcome back. In this video I'll be showing you how to program on the main using an NCE power cab. It is raining a bit outside so I'm sorry if there is any background noises distracting in the video. But I'll just get on and show you how to program on the main. Thank you. So when you first select a train, the screen on the power cab should just be displaying the train. And depending on which one you want, depending on which settings you've set, will just be displaying something there and something there. And if we go to the bottom of the power cab, we can see it says program dash escape. To program on the main, we just click this button and we can see on the screen there, it just says cell mode program on the main. You click the enter button, which is here. And it gives you an option which locomotive to program. So you just want to program, just put in the number here of which locomotive you want to program. So I'm using loco 5601, that's the number on the side of the BR040 loco there and I'll just click enter and it will take me through to the next screen. So on the screen we have some of the programming options scroll through you can just press the enter button you can see we have option 4 mode control, option 5 function mapping, option 6 NCE effects and option 8 QSI sounds and then option 9 bin CVs and then we get back to the beginning again so I'll just show you how to program the address so click address or we click button 1 for this locomotive I'm programming the long address the long address I'm just going to use the keyboard to type 5601 and I'll just press enter now I can control the train as I please, etc, etc. Most of the programming we do on the main is of CVs. The NC Power Cab does have some presets, so you can just go through on the config thing and that will do all the main CVs for you, apart from the address which is 1. However, most of the adjustments you want to make, you'll just need the value the number of the CV and the value you want to set it to. For most decoders you get a leaflet of all the supported CVs. This is of a Omni decoder. You can see got the CV numbers and the default value. So we can do this on the NC power cab. You just hit 2 CV option and just ask which CV number we want to program so that will be um, anything from down this first column yes these are the CVs and we program it to the value here I can just hit in a value to program it to say I want to do CV1 I'll program that to 3 And that's that done. Now let's go through and have a look at some of the other options on programming on the main. So here we have the ones which you've got just done. We have the address which I've shown you how to do. We have the config. So I'll go through number three. So I'll just click option three. And we can see this is the direction. So we want to put normal speed step 28 DC mode no and then speed table we want standard and then address for this one we want long so that's the one button so those are all the basic configurations that we go through so that's just number three so those are generally preset CVs they're just standardized across all of the decoders so now we've gone through the main ones that you will use in everyday modeling. I'll just go through some of the other ones. So if you click enter you can scroll. So for motor control that that will be like the start voltage, mid voltage and top voltage but you generally I just use the CV settings to control that because I know what each thing should be because I have the CV values. I prefer to do it that way since I know what I'm doing and I know I won't be messing up the decoder but if you don't know what you're doing you want to use this another option is function mapping this is say 
if you've got, for example, a function on function 2 and your control is momentary, you can assign all the outputs from function 2 to function 1. Now, next, NCE effects. These are just for NCE decoders only. These, these are like special lighting effects you can program in. And then QSI sound, that's any that just controls the sound on the decoder. So I do hope that you have found this video useful, and if not, just a bit interesting. So, for now, stay safe, keep modelling, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.